Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Now let's get this showboat on the road. I have some news regarding my Galaxy 2 playthrough. Yet again, I'm probably gonna have to start it over. I know. Infuriate. I mean, how many times am I gonna, like, do this game? <sighs> well, apparently I skipped out on recording some parts of it. So... Yep. Better safe than sorry in this area. So glad they returned the drill stomp. Just so sad as fuck. Like, I don't think that's been in a mainline Mario game. With the whole drilling spin jump. Since World. So that was cool. Like, I want Nintendo to, like, make, make Mario's movements just as or more fluid as this game. For their next big 3D Mario game. Hopefully, if rumors are true, or a huge grain of salt, there's gonna be an Odyssey 2. I mean, let's face it, I hope there is. Or at least one. Or, like, um. Real success of the Switch. Then again, I think they're probably working on that, uh, successor. Uh, or sequel to Breath of the Wild. There's a good possibility that might also be for another console as well. It's like how it said that Breath of the Wild was going to be a Wii U game. Well, it was. It was also a Nintendo Switch game. I'm very curious if they're gonna delay it again. Because the original Breath of the Wild was a project. That like spanned an entire console generation. But who boy was the wait worth it. The only thing I want to see is, like, the option to wear the, the old Link hat again. Like, the, uh, original Breath of the Wild did. Like, you could have the Wind Waker, the Ridge, Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time. Those kind of Link hats. The green one. I don't know if they should do an Odyssey 2. Or if they're probably cooking up something like original. Like, say that's not a sequel to Odyssey, but the mechanics are all new. Like, say the. That's something that focuses on a new gameplay mechanic.
like how Mario's spin move was pivotal in Galaxy, and like they went from basically Cappy and for this game. And maybe they're working on something original. However, I would not count out the sequel to Odyssey. Why? Because there was so much content. According to the art book, it didn't make it in for Final Bride. And again, it was also a game that was made, I don't know, like five years in the making. Like they do immediately start development after they finished Super Mario 3D. <laughs> And there was a lot of prototypes. I consider making an Odyssey 2 a safe bet. They have to make like all kinds of new crazy little captures. And probably a Beyonce with multiplayer. Like, they'd probably have to somehow manage to include the original idea for multiplayer for Mario 64 if they wanted to, like, include Luigi. Or Peach! I see Peach actually working out a bit better. Better because Ty- Yara did, uh, like, take over Peach's crown. Like how Cappy takes over Mario's hat. But if they do include Peach as a playable, how would Odyssey 2 work out? Oh, like, hypothetically speaking. Dang. I mean, like, there were certain areas in Odyssey that were not a, a huge- that were just in a place in the kingdom. Just New Donk being a place in the Metro Kingdom. If they do make an Odyssey 2, I wanna see I want a level inspired by my home town, Sea Coffins, New Jersey. I'm not even making this up. Oh, I mean, it worked. That kind of great work for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, did it not? Why not an Odyssey 2 secret? But rather it being like Donkey Kong themed, it would be themed more probably around the Kremlin. Or even Wario. Like, if, like, Sea Caucus would be a great inspiration, probably for a Mario level. I'm not even joking. And if they could make one lot after New York City... ...work, then there's no reason why they can't do Sea Caucus. It's New Jersey. And it's close to New York, as it is. 
and it would also count for a water level to a degree. It has bustling trains, and it's one of the biggest stadiums. Oh, did we forget to mention something? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. This, we're talking about New Jersey, the dreaded turnpike. There's a lot of room for humor on this one. Like, there's so much room for humor. We mentioned we have bunny bridges. Of course, I moved to NC, but I uh, hopefully might relocate back up north soon. So. Wishful thing. Do a, like a whole Pennsylvania themed level, or something after New York State, not New York St City. I feel like PA in New York State would be perfect. Somewhere else in the Metro Kingdom, if they're gonna go by Kingdoms sure, again. Like, use the same kingdoms, but different location, is... We only saw, like, we were only, like, in a small bit of the Mushroom Kingdom. In this game. It was around Peach's Castle. We know the Mushroom Kingdom is much, much bigger than that. I'd probably pick Hawaii. And try to go with something similar to Sunshine's theme. For like the aquatic beach level. Oh, and the Bowser battle would have to be completely new. Again, this is just all spirit spitballing in theory, and, but these are also my hopes for an Odyssey 2. Or what I'd like to see from it. <laughs> I love it, it's styled after Tanuki Mario.
take a little picture of that. <sighs> well, this this is Bowser's kingdom, or one of the many of them. Guess they gotta make income somehow. level that's just a volcano full of gemstones. Kind of like the the melty molten galaxy. But one that just goes really all out but out in the volcanoes and active. Kind of like a mining facility. Oh, I really love this little bit that they did here. <laughs> I, I swear. Even though that they're Japanese developers, they really made this look really cool. In terms of art work goes. On how art work goes. Like, it pays homage to the original Bunny S and uh, whatever it's doing. I, I just like it. I think it's very artistic and very stylized. You know, like how how the uh, hand drawn background and the pixel art goes together. picture. I might use that as a thumbnail for like a future video. Of course you're probably gonna be disappoint point when I don't show this off. Like when I come back to this kingdom. Yeah, for like Bowser's uh, kingdom. If we're gonna go like back to the same kingdom but different location, why not use a different island of Japan? Yeah, I mean the original Pokemon games were actually inspired by the other islands of Japan, so why not? I mean, I'm just spit on here. And, like, I don't really expect anybody who directly works at Nintendo, but if you do, do write that down. Write that down. Um, but don't tell me how to do your. But don't let me tell you how to do your jobs. 
I want to be thoroughly surprised if there is an RC team though. <laughs> And I just want the Bowser battle to be, like, hard. Like, difficult, difficult. Like a justification for taking out the Eggman's for life system. I mean, like, 10 points seems like a penalty in amping up difficulty in some areas. Seems like a good idea. But for bosses, I want something that'll challenge. We're turning the air because I want to change my up a little bit. I don't know, I just, uh, sometimes the old, old fashioned works. <laughs> you know, we're gonna be fighting the Brutals anyway. So, you know what? What apps? Boing. I'll be wearing this to fight them. But yeah, I I, I don't expect Nintendo to like immediately give us an Odyssey 2. Like maybe E3? Unless it's cancelled. I don't know. <laughs> and I feel like they're probably cooking something. And, and I feel like there was a lot of outside involvement for Bowser's gear in the 3D world form. Oh, I'm not gonna... But if there really was, like an Odyssey 2, I don't know what the theme would fall around. Probably exploration again. But I don't know if we should really head to the moon again. Why not another planet? <laughs> I, I feel like a sequel to Odyssey would be a challenge on its own. For coming up for ideas. Like, new ones, along with the ones that really didn't make it into Odyssey. 
Galaxy 2 was not just uh, a bunch of uh, used ideas, they had some new ones in there. Yeah, you can hear my mattress, can you? <laughs> However, I'd like the graphical details to probably go a little further. Or just as good as this one. For the next 3D Mario game. Like the hairs of Mario's mustache. Keep him. Stitches in his hat. Keep him. His shirt. His over. Look, the attention to detail. Kill. I want it to be kept. It's even Mario plus rabbits, even though there's no like detailing the mustache hairs. Yet. There is detailing thing that I have noticed in the official artwork. Like on Mario's clothes. I just want that kind of detail kept. Especially the way Mario animates. Like the nose physics. Maybe. He definitely like the anime. In the fluidity of Mario's movement. I mean, who knows what they'll cook up? I mean, there's also a good possibility we might not see a 3D Mario game at 3. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Bowser's theory in the pandemic might have been like. That was it for a bit. But yeah. Like, I wouldn't blame Nintendo for not having them kind at of the moment. Succeeding Odyssey is gonna be a big order at this time. Usually when they, they make another 3D Mario game, they try to top it. Like the last one. Clearly, I was a dummy for that. <laughs> yes, I noticed that one behind. But yeah, I'm wondering what they would do if they do make it. Like, they gotta make new capture. Probably some new enemies. Stuff like that. Like, I've discussed in my Bowser's Fury video where they could go. But yeah. Possibly, but. I'm not 100% sure. I'd like to see a new villain take the reins for once in the mainline Mario game. <laughs> Maybe Bowser could, like, absorb him in the end. 
because it wouldn't be like a Mario game without a Bowser fight, let's just face it. Like in some way, shape, or form. Like, well, maybe Bowser could be captured along with Peach. Like, I know that was pretty much also the plot for Super Paper Mario, but, like, probably being used for a different nefarious purpose. Rather than a... a fake wedding. Pretty sure after the events of Super Paper Mario, there was a lot of divorce papers. Papers. Or, or like, a lot of legal action. I think Mario and Peach maybe are married, according to Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Did it memory? Very faint memory. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's like a My memory on that game is faint, and I only played it with a cousin. Okay, that was another cheap shot. Oh, that's bad news. Don't worry, I mean, like, don't think I'm really spoiling anything. Oh, yeah. That'd be me, though, it's a little difficult. Yep! Also, I'm hearing actually surprisingly good news about the Mario movie for once. Such as, uh, I mean, Charles Martinet being the very. Believe me, I know Martin 8 can do a narration. I mean, 
bit trip runner, everybody. Just have been like proof of that. How much did they spend on this thing? Brutal. I mean, wood would have really probably lessened up the operating costs, but dang. But if they can't, like, stop Mario, like, then again, Mario is pretty formidable in any form. So, yeah. That'd be a good reason. Crud! Plumber, we kneel. Easy, you think? And there goes a ton of money down the drain. Oh, you want to know some good news? That's my Dr. Mario amiibo. So I'm obviously going to use that. Well, that's it for now. Bye, and thank you for watching.